the final blitz for the only remaining Senate midterm race in the nation, the hotly contested Georgia runoff. Incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker are making last pitches, their last pitches, to undecided voters. While Democrats have secured control of the Senate with 50 seats, a Warnock win would solidify their majority in committees. But a Walker victory weakens the Democrats' grip on the upper chamber. Congressional correspondent Nicole Killian is in Atlanta, where both candidates are pulling out all the stops. Nicole, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Michelle. And uh, make no mistake about it, this runoff election hasn't even gotten underway. It's officially next Tuesday, but already more than 1.8 million voters have cast their ballots here in the Peach State. And Georgia election officials say yesterday marked the single biggest day of early voting ever. On the final day of early voting, lines wrapped around this Atlanta area polling station. Cindy Watts waited an hour and a half, casting her ballot for Senator Raphael Warnock. It was worth it. I'm ready for uh, this to get behind us. Uh, why do you think it's worth it? Because democracy is at stake, it's, and it's uh, that's important. Who did you support? Uh, Herschel. And why Mr. Walker? Lifelong Republican, more than anything. But I just, like I think, no, I think 50-50 uh, is far better than 51-41 either way. Even though control of the U.S. Senate may no longer be on the line, the high-stakes runoff drew high-profile support this week. From President Biden, who phone banked for Warnock in Boston. You can't be tired! To former President Barack Obama, who made his second trip to the beach state for the incumbent. We can't rest on our laurels. We... It's way too early to do a happy dance. So what you need to do is tell 10 of your friends to vote early, too. The GOP nominee has pulled out his own star surrogates, including top Republican senators and Governor Brian Kemp. That's why we need Herschel Walker in the United States Senate. But Walker has also continued to battle new controversies, from an ex-girlfriend who told the Daily Beast he's unstable to questions about his residency in Georgia, after tax records revealed he declared Texas as his principal residence. No, 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 Georgia bread, and when I die, I'll be Georgia dead, because that's who I am. Walker's campaign has declined to comment on some of those new reports. The former Georgia football star is expected to tailgate with supporters later today at the SEC championship game here in Atlanta, while Senator Warnock will stump with his fellow Georgia Senator John Ossoff at a rally tonight. Dana? All right, Nicole, it feels like they've been voting in Georgia nonstop. I'm sure they'll be happy once the election is over. We appreciate the update.